Welcome to Thrive Groups. We're so glad to have you here with us this week. We're in week two of Digging for Truth, and we are talking about Sodom and Gomorrah and some of the archaeological discoveries of that. And hopefully you're able to attend. If not, you're able to watch it online if you'd like to catch up. But anyhow, we're going to jump in in a moment. First, we're going to go over our ground rules, and that's that we want to encourage everyone to participate and no one to dominate. Also, we start on time, we end on time. So let's stay respectful of the place that we are in. So that being said, we're going to jump right in with our icebreaker question. And it's, what's the furthest you've been away from home? Uh, for me, I've been a few kind of far away places. I went to, uh, to Bulgaria. Uh, I've been to uh, Ethiopia, uh, which is on the east coast of Africa. But probably the furthest I've been away from home was being in Hawaii, surprisingly enough. I mean, it's just like so far away. Um, and so that was probably the furthest I've been away from home. Either there or Ethiopia, I'm not sure. Maybe they're about equal, but, uh, but that was pretty far. But how about you? What's the furthest you've been away from home? Okay, we're going to read some verses here. These are out of Genesis 19, and then we're going to talk about anything that stands out to us. So here we go. This is, uh, and I'll just give a little context, is uh, Lot is talking to the angels. They're getting ready to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And, uh, and, and he's asking to, to go to this place, Zoar. He says, see, there's a small village nearby. Please let me go there instead. Don't you see how small it is? Then my life will be saved. All right, the angel said, I'll grant your request. I'll not destroy the little village. But hurry, escape to it, for I can do nothing until you arrive there. This explains why the village was known as Zoar, which means little place. Then the Lord rained down fire and burning sulfur from the sky on Sodom and Gomorrah. He utterly destroyed them along with the people, cities, and villages of the plain, wiping out all of the people and every bit of vegetation. Heavy verses, I know, but let's take a few moments and talk about what stands out to us. Next question is this, share about a time you resisted something bad, resisted something bad. You know, recently my car was in the shop, actually currently it's in the shop. It's been there for uh, a couple of weeks now, uh, getting some work done. And I call every couple of days and I bite my tongue uh, of saying something really bad and <laughs> mean because I'm getting really frustrated, honestly, uh, about how long this process is taking. Um, but I've been resisting so far doing anything uh, really bad. But how about you? What's the time that you resisted something bad? Okay, next uh, question is tell about a time when God protected you. And it seems like God is just always, always protecting uh, me from, from something, uh, from different uh, situations and different, uh, you know, accidents and and, and things like that. God is uh, is protecting us. And, and, you know, not too long ago, we took a big group of people hiking out behind the church and it was a downpour and it was just crazy. And then as we're out there in the woods and we're just drenched in the woods and then the lightning starts striking. We're like, okay, that, that's, that's fine, whatever. And it gets closer and closer and closer and closer to the point where it would like strike. And about a second later, you would hear the um, the, uh, uh, the thunder and which means it's only probably eight, 900 feet, a uh, thousand feet away. So it was getting pretty close and God definitely protected us. Uh, nobody got struck by lightning. Thank the Lord. But, uh, he protected us. But how about you T share about a time when God protected you from something? Next question is this, how can you grow closer to God this week? Um, maybe it's reading scripture, praying, tithing, serving, coming to church, uh, or maybe it's something else, taking a walk by yourself out in nature. Uh, what, what is it for you? What's something you can do this week that can help you grow closer to God? Okay, well, hey, thanks so much for joining us this week. We're going to close in prayer, and there's power in prayer. So I would encourage everyone to take a few moments and pray. Pray for each other. Pray for uh, God's blessing. Pray for healing. Uh, whatever it is, the wisdom, direction, guidance. And, uh, and then once you say a little prayer, it doesn't have to be fancy. You can say amen. The next person will go. And eventually the leader will close it up. But uh, thank you all so much for joining. Let's close in prayer.